In the decade between 1976 and 86, one of California's most prolific criminals tormented the state with 50 rapes and a dozen murders. An upcoming book by the late wife of comedian Patton Oswalt investigates the little-known Golden State Killer. In a preview of tomorrow's 48 Hours, Tracy Smith explores how her work could help capture the elusive killer. Comedian and actor Patton Oswalt has made a career out of getting laughs. My wife is 10 times smarter than me. She but there was rarely anything funny in his wife Michelle McNamara's line of work. She blogged and wrote about true crime stories, especially unsolved murders. She had a mind for the details of true crime the way that other people have for baseball or me for films. It was just in her head. Michelle had learned about a criminal known as the East Area Rapist, original Night Stalker. Between 1976 and 1986, he'd been responsible for 50 rapes and 12 murders across California before he suddenly vanished. To this day, no one knows who he is. She started looking at the devastation that this guy wrought. You're taunting the police, you're taunting the population, and you, you're never caught. Michelle McNamara had found her next subject. What's fascinating to me about this case is that it is rich with so many clues and frankly it should be solved. She would write about the case in LA Magazine, rebranding the suspect with a more memorable name, the Golden State Killer. A book deal soon followed. The great tragedy of this case to me is that it's not better known. I mean, Michelle I met with investigators know. like Erica Hutchcraft from the Orange County Sex Crimes Unit. She had such good insight, and I think it's because other investigators had trusted her. They told her things that weren't in some of the original files. Contra Costa County investigator Paul Holes says he came to view Michelle McNamara as part of the team. Once she earned my trust, she literally became my investigative partner. Like other investigators, Michelle was motivated by the pain and terror of victims like Jane Carson Sandler. Jane was raped in her home by the assailant in 1976. It was sheer terror. What, is he going to murder us? Is he going to kill us? What's he going to do to us? The suspect relished tormenting his victims, often calling them after the attack. Investigators recorded one of his phone calls. So who does this voice belong to? Who is the man behind the mask? Michelle McNamara thought she was getting close to finding him. Then she died unexpectedly in her sleep last year. In my gut, I think he is gonna be caught because of what Michelle did and because of what all the cops did before her. And Tracy Smith is with us now. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. Um, how did Pat Oswald essentially make sure that Michelle's work continued, even though she died before finishing this book? Well, he didn't feel he could do it justice on his own, so he mm -hmm. enlisted the help of a researcher that she was working with and a true crime writer, and they're going to finish this thing. It's very important to him that he finishes her work with their help. How did she die, and how is he doing? Uh, it was a combination of prescription drugs and an undiagnosed heart condition, and it was shocking, devastating. He's now a single parent. He's sad, but he speaks so eloquently about his grief that I really feel like anybody who's lost someone or who's loved someone yeah. can get something out of this hour. Is her work making a difference, do you think, on the case? Oh, yeah. It's gotten investigators to work together, and maybe they'll, we'll find out who this person is. I hope so. so Tracy, thank, thank you, Tracy. Sure. Tracy, thanks. You can see Tracy's full report, 48 Hours, The Golden State Killer, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.